This is the Gato George Outdoors, and today we are doing a micro lure challenge. Um, I picked up a couple of these little small lures at uh, Walmart for $1.25 a piece, and I figured you can't lose a whole lot of money uh, going with that. So we're going to uh, we're going to do a challenge to see what we can catch on these lures. And here's the catch: we're only going no pun intended there. We're only going to be fishing uh, this creek on the sides of the road. We're going to go to a couple of different bridges and fish there. So no ponds, no uh, no rivers where I normally fish. We're going to the creek under the side of the road. This will be the last video that I make before uh, going to Alaska. So a week from today, we're going to be doing a completely different type of fishing than what we're doing today. So uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that here. As you can see behind me, I got my kids playing in the creek. So it's a hot day and uh, we're going to see what this little lure will do. If you watch the channel any, you know I've fished down here a few times and caught some redfin pike and a bunch of other stuff. But I'm throwing this little tiny, I guess you would even call it a crankbait. It's little. Um, this isn't exactly one of my confidence baits. Not really fish with these a lot, but I know this spot's got fish. So if there's a place to try it out, it would be here. And you definitely got to watch your feet on a day like today. All right, let's see what we can do here. Right there, hit something, hit it right out the gate. Oh, I missed it. Something. A lot of hits just then, but a lot of misses. And that's gonna be, might be the nature of this old lure. I'm gonna do a slow and steady retrieve here, see if something can pick it up. There's something, pretty good sized fish working. Almost like I see a bed right there. Something hitting that. There it is, right there. Pretty good sized little fish, whatever it was. There we go. Fishing this little tiny lure with this little tiny rod is um, quite the challenge and fun. This thing does dive down a little bit. All right, what we got? Another one. This uh, lure does dive down a little bit, so the faster you reel, the deeper it dives. So you kind of got to be careful. You don't want to reel it too fast because you'll end up getting hung. There we go. I love this clear water. You can watch them. Watch them when they tear it up. That's a pretty good size one there. If I was interested in eating fish, I could keep that one. I think that was a little bass there. What we got? Yep, that's a little bass. New species, but we'll catch these little small fish, but I'm just having a hard time getting the hook set. Look here, my confidence tells me this will catch a fish, but I was kind of curious if it would catch a uh, redfin. Hasn't done it yet, but we will see. We'll give it a couple more casts here before we move on. What we got, what we got. There we go, he got home behind that tree, what we got. Well, warm mouth, just a big one. Probably the biggest one I caught all day. Kind of hooked him on the outside, so he was pulling a little sideways. Testing the drag out in that little proficiency rod, but man, that is some kind of fun catching them. Pretty fish. I don't know what it was. 
That thing hit at it as soon as it went under. That wasn't what hit me a minute ago. But that is a stump knocker, which I think is about four different species off of this lure in just a few minutes. A tiny bass sitting up in there. That is as little of a bass as they come. I could use him for bait. Maybe that'll be in a different video. That redfin? Yes, sir. It can be done. I was about to give up, and it can be done. Look at that right there. I'd be very gentle with him get this lure out. I think we can do it. That's my own blood, by the way. Well, I was hoping to be able to catch a full variety, and I think that's five species off of this one little uh, lure here in just a couple of minutes. So, I'm a believer in this little thing. Got a little bit of a mess going on. And by the way, that is my blood. Those red fin have some sharp teeth. We ended up catching quite a few fish at the uh, first stop. I think maybe five species, even a red fin pike. So uh, we loaded up and went to a uh, bridge down the road and it started to rain. And just in time, we were able to get under that bridge and fish there. So footage may be a little dark, but we were actually catching some fish under the bridge. Not sure if you can tell, but it's raining. So what we did was decide to change up locations to get up under this bridge. That way we can kill two birds with one stone, fish and stay dry. And then once the rain stops, we'll get out there and try a few other locations. Oh, we right there, right there. First cast. What we got? First cast. This thing is a warmouth machine. And I hope you've been able to see this because it is awful dark. This is pretty cool. It's pouring down rain and I'm under a bridge catching Catching fish. I know it's dark, but I apologize. First cast again, I'm telling you, every cast over there, there's a fish. One after another, after another, after another. See how many I can catch over there. I think there's a dead deer in the water right there in front of me. Another one. Why are these things packed in there so so heavy the last stop was a place never been before i found it on google maps and uh, we went there and it looked the most promising it's probably the most disappointing of the spots we went to but we ended up catching some fish there as well all right we are at about a third or fourth spot here and we got some water this looks somewhat promising Oh, right there, already something hit it. Something hit it again. Kind of bluegill coming out of there. Oh, there we go. Didn't take but two casts. Bring one out of there. What we got? Pretty little bluegill. You know, this has been the same creek we fished at every location today. It just, it's just where these roads where they dug out deeper holes that you got more water. Pretty bluegill. They're up in these pipes. There we go. First fish we've caught in quite some time here. This spot looked a lot more promising than what it ended up being. Another little warm mouth. Beautiful little creek right here. It's actually got pretty good water compared to a lot of the creeks around. You just got to bump every time just then. So, there's something over there.
Right here. What we got? What we got right there? Pretty red breast. That was pretty cool. Just seeing him explode on the top of the water. Ain't big, but just on the list. Overall, pretty cool fishing trip, and these little lures uh, do the trick. We uh, caught several different species today, and pretty decent numbers. Nothing big, but that's kind of what you expect. But uh, so uh, get out there. You can't. That's a dollar twenty-five for that. I mean, you can't. You can't go wrong. So it's something to keep in your tackle box, and you can catch a variety of fish. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video. This will be the last video that you're going to see for a while from Georgia. We're going to be in Alaska for about the next eight days. So I hope you uh, enjoy those videos. So you want to hit that subscribe button. Until the next one, this has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guide, Georgia Outdoors.